Like other problems in rectilinear motion, you may get the velocity and tangential acceleration in different forms. If the velocity is given as a function of time, start with the definition of velocity and see if it reveals some unknowns. If the tangent acceleration is given as a function of time also, start also with its definition. But if AT is defined as a function of displacement, Use ATDS equals VDV and pay attention also to some cases where AT is a function of theta. So you need to use the definition of DS, which is rho d theta. If AT is constant, then we will use the three common constant acceleration equations that we have seen before. In some special cases, the question will ask you to find the radius of curvature. So in this case, you have to start with the definition, which is a n equals v square over rho. And typically v will be given in the problem. So your only unknown now is a n. If you can find a n, the problem gives you v, you can solve for the radius of curvature. And to find a n, you have to start with the total acceleration equation. So usually in the problem, a will be given for you, and uh, you will find a way to get a of t from the initial conditions times delta s, you will have a way to use the constant acceleration equation to find a of t. And now that you have a of t and you have a, your only unknown will be a n. So you solve for a n and you use it in the v square over rho to find the value of rho.